know that when a person of color uses the word race, he is excluding people of the default color. <laughs> okay. We are the people of race. Okay. And we know that when the person of default color uses the word race, he is excluding himself and referring to us who belong to a different hue. Gender, on the other hand, is really a puzzle. Gender means one thing to those who have race, and another thing to those who are of the default color. The definitions for gender change uh, depending on what kind of color the person is wearing on her skin. <coughs> uh, in other words, race sets a boundary. There's a boundary when you talk race. When you talk about gender, there is a boundary but also there is a link. Because when we talk about women, there are certain commonalities among women of whatever race. So you have race and you have gender. You have race that says this is a boundary and you have gender that says there is a possibility <coughs> of a link. This equation is not we have a word with the data. <laughs> It's not level. It's not balanced. Okay. There's something missing. What is missing? Do you know what is missing? There's a third element. Oh, very good girl. Study. <laughs> okay. So we have class. We have race, gender, and class. These are the tripods the tripod on which the whole structure, the whole system of oppression that we know, this is where it rests, the three tripods. And I'm sure there are people who will quarrel with me and say, you cannot put these three on the same level. Class is more important, or race is more important, or gender is more important. But it is my thinking that at some time or the other in our history, one or the other of the three has been used to push forward a movement. They've had the, the civil rights movement, they've had the women's movement, we have had the movement for socialism in terms of class. Okay. <laughs> it ate my when okay. Um so you have these three movements. And they have achieved some successes in their own you know, framework. But inevitably there has been a failure. One, two and three. And therefore it is my thesis that if you want to do comprehensive change, you have to take into consideration comprehensively all of these issues that create our system of oppression. <laughs>